It's a formidable Pakistan lineup. Shahid Afridi, Said Enver, the two openers, Vajatul Awasti, the youngster drafted at number three position, Ijaz Ahmed, the experienced campaigner, along with Inzamamul Haq and Salim Malik, to bolster the middle order. Moin Khan, Wasim Akram, Azhar Mahmood, Siklan Mushtaq, and the demon fast bowler Shweb Akhtar. The Indian team without their regular captain Mohammad Azruddin. It's Sadagopan, Ramesh, Rahul Dravid, Ajay Jadeja, Robin Singh, Vinod Kamli. Nain Mongia, Ajit Agarkar, Sunil Joshi, Anil Kumle, the leg spinner, and Venkatesh Prasad, the medium pacer, is in the lineup. So Pakistan won the toss and decided to have a first use of this charger pitch. That's a good shot. Hit it very square and very firmly. Oh, lovely timing. Beautiful use of the wrists here from Said Anwar. That first ball, I think, filled him. The wickets here have got. That's a good shot. The leg glance has become very important in the one-day game. You can pick up a lot of boundaries from that shot. This is really well played by... Well, that's an excellent shot. This is uh, an important little period for Saeed Anwar because Prasad has had the better of him in recent duels. Suddenly it looks as though he's come to grips with uh, Prasad's bowling. Nicely struck. Whoops. It's gone a bit crazy with the running between wickets. And now Mongia is hurt. He's popped it right in the forehead. He's been in the wars a bit lately, uh, Mongia. Caught one uh, right in the chin. And he, he may have got a, a bit of a whiplash effect there. He's grabbed for the back of the neck. And that could be because uh, I think he hit a Freedy right on the top of his head. Yes, a real mix-up for Freedy, and this is going to be very close. They're both running in the same line, and uh, neither wanted to go away from that line, and he's out. Definitely gone shy to Freedy. We'll see what happens just after that. Mongi has done a very good job there, picked it up on the bounce, and he's hit him straight in the middle. No one's fault, just an accident that does happen in cricket. It was unavoidable. Shy to Freedy was looking to try and cover the, the throw. Mongia was dead in line with the ball. He's, you see there, Freedy, he's trying to cover the throw. And suddenly he realises he had his head down, going at 100 miles an hour. Mongia was concentrating on the ball, trying to get to the stumps. Neither saw each other until the very last moment. So a little bit of a nasty collision there. Well, uh, Freedy will be able to get plenty of treatment because he's heading for the pavilion. Not so easy for Mongia. I'm not surprised that he's got a neck problem because uh, it would have been a bit of uh, whiplash there so uh, Freddy is gone well and truly run out Mongia is up and about and hopefully he'll be okay it's 16 for one and this time it's uh, Anwar who wants to run direct hit Daryl Hare sensibly calling for the replay because he was moving to get into position, but I think you'll find that Saeed Anwar's uh, home. Yes, my immediate reaction, he just got back. It was a left arm throw and it wasn't all that quick. And he's just got there. But another little hiccup for the Pakistan batsman. His heart would have been in his mouth for a little while. That would have been a, an absolute uh, bonanza for India to get two runouts. Something. That's a lovely shot. Once again, those wrists really flicking. Just straying onto the leg stump, Prasad. There's obviously a plan to try and attack Said Anwar. Bowling pretty straight. But if you. Well, that's a magnificent shot. He hasn't even moved. Classic. Absolutely classic for the run. And that's over the top. Beautiful shot. That's for eight on the over. In fact, it's nine on the over because there's a no ball as well. 
Yes, where all these matches in this uh, Coca-Cola tournament have been won by the sides batting first. And India notoriously are poor performers when they're chasing runs. We seem to have a mental block and their brains go out of the window. So I'll be very interested this evening to see how they set about whatever total. Pakistan post and he walloped that straight off his pads. Well, this is a typical side and was shot. Middle and leg, he's just picked it on the up and hoisted it over mid wicket. One bounce over the rope, a boundary to end the over, 33 for one. And he's picked the slower one, but he's not middle it. Agar Kar has struck here. He's already bowled two of them in this over. And it was third time lucky for Ajit Agarkar. Onward, the man dismissed. And that's a big wicket for the Indians. Well, none of the batsmen have learned as this tournament has gone on. It's become harder and harder to loft the ball in the air with certainty. When the tournament started, everybody was doing it with comfort. The ball just doesn't come on. And he's perished like a lot more will. 34 for two. So Ija is off the mark here. Prasad will be disappointed at the line of that delivery. He's angled onto his pads. And Ija has got enough bat on it. So that's uh, gone into the gap on the offside. It's a couple of runs there to end the over. Three runs coming off it, 45 for two. Straight away wrapped on the pads and Kumble has struck with his very first delivery. Once again he's got out Ijaz and once again he's out leg before wicket. Well he seemed to get caught in an awful position almost playing back to a full length delivery and square on. Watch him he doesn't really go anywhere on the crease he threatens to come forward. Ah oh, that's fair enough he's nowhere near got his foot forward. And he's cross it himself, but it's his own fault. 45 for three. Yeah, he's a difficult batsman once he's set up. Oh. So Enzamam off the mark in style here. Good timing for the onside. And he'll get three. But overall, a good over for the Indians. That three runs coming off it. But uh, the important thing was they picked up the wicket of Ijaz. 48 for three. And that one, we'll have to wait and see whether that didn't just balloon over short leg. Leg by. And that's good field placing too. He had the man on the, uh, the offside initially for Enzima. But because he's slanting the ball in, Kumble, quite a few of the bat pads will go in that direction. It's just missed the bat on this occasion. And he's done him in the air. This could be a run out. It will be a run out. It is a run out. Inzimam is absolutely filthy with his partner. But if Pakistan have lost their fourth. That's a great breakthrough again for India. Vasti was not looking at the ball or at the non striker's end. It was in the mom's call. The ball had gone down to short fine leg and there seemed to be a run there. Vasti was not at all looking at the ball or the bowler. Uh, look at him, he's not looking anywhere. Now he looks back and by that time in has already come halfway through. It's his call. And then uh, it's a very nice throw and uh, Kumle gets him out. So that's the fourth wicket gone, a very important one. In is a very good striker of the ball. As the drinks come on the field, it's 50 for four. Edged. I don't think it'll go for four, though. It'll be interesting if he comes back for two. Yes, he does, and it's reasonably comfortable. <laughs> not a good take from Dravid. I'm not sure he's enjoying being behind the stumps. That very really low and slow week. Salim Malik batted well against uh, England. Look at that 
communication or words to that effect. Also one problem that Jadeja would have is that he doesn't have Srinath his ranks today. And that's a better shot from Wasti. He'd be looking for two here and I think he'll get it comfortably. So the first run for him for quite some time. And he'll feel a little bit better about that. It's a good looking shot and it's through. It won't go to the boundary though. They'll have to uh, run. So Salim Malik just trying to up the pace a little bit against Robin Singh. Kumble quickly into action again. Right on the spot again. And there's an, a big appeal here. And he hasn't claimed, I think it's, he's going to ask the other umpire whether that hit the ground. It might have gone from the edge onto the boot. I think that's what Jardasia is claiming. And I think they'll ask the third umpire. Just too much doubt in that one. Mind you, I don't know why the Indians want to get him out. He's been in for a very long time for his runs. 38 balls for seven. And uh, this is probably the angle. I just think that it hit the ground just after it hit his pad. Others will have a uh, different idea, but I just think there's too much doubt. That's a good shot. well hit one bounce and over the rope and crashes into the opal it's 80 for four Indians have got spot on with their efforts today the ball lovely line to both Wasti and Salim Malik the ball pretty straight not given any width to the batsman Salim Malik normally likes to just guide the ball angle the ball away to third man has been giving no opportunity really to exercise that shot. Well, he just tried to be a little bit too clever, did Jadeja, there with a slower ball, but there was no disguise in it, and it uh, had plenty of width as well. He uh, was involved in that run out. Well, it's cleared the man that I was talking about earlier about going the aerial route. How fraught with danger it is. You just cannot be sure of the bounce of the ball or the pace of the ball. There are a few options that uh, the batsman can take against Joshi. They can play the aerial shot through that area. Well, I think against Joshi, you're better off hitting him straight. It should be straightforward to hit him down the ground. Look here, you can see the man's gone back. And straight down here, if we go wider, you find that uh, those are the simple shots. And then there's a man on the cover boundary. So you've got a big area between these two men. Well, all cricket lovers will be pleased to see Naya Mongia coming back. He's a very good keeper, lovely hands. But Jadeja there just probably checking uh, with him how shaken up he is. It's been hard work for Rahul Dravid. He's uh, taken in as a specialist number three batsman, but he's uh, been asked to keep wickets in this sultry, oppressive uh, weather conditions there in Sharjah. He's done a fine job, Rahul Dravid, but he's not as capable as uh, Nine Mongia. Well, it was as simple as that. Ian Wasti uh, gave a dress rehearsal, which Jadeja couldn't take, and then he's going to hit it straight at him. Well, inexperienced showing uh, Wasti not getting to the pitch once again, and this time hitting in straight to Jadeja, who took an easy one this time. Didn't have to dive, so... Uh, Vast is gone after uh, struggling for 86 balls and India lose their fifth wicket. In fact, Pakistan lose their fifth wicket for 110. And 
but uh, some very good things happening for India in this day. One of them being uh, Agurka coming back into the team and uh, bowling quite well. Two for 20 he's got so far. Nice placement there from Salim Malik. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Hundred and nineteen for five. That's a good shot. He's got it fine. And Mongia has been in the wars in this tournament. And uh, you see here a good effort by uh, Gurasir. He got around quickly, took the ball on the bounce. He fired it back high. And Nayan Mongia decided he'd had an, he'd taken enough blows. Now Gurasir has got a charge behind square and he won't get there. Well, he's got it way too fine for Prasad to chop it off. Must have gone very close to bowling him. Done 136 for five. Once again, he's got it fine, and again, it must have gone very close to leg stump. Very well bowled. That's the ideal ball to bowl in the death overs. Reel up into the block hole. Although that was missing the leg, but then it serves the purposes. Then you don't give the opportunity to the batsman to really uh, play that easy. Standing between uh, Mohan Khan and the runner Ejaz. Well, it's been all happening here at Sharjah. Plenty of runouts you've seen in this tournament. And the reverse sweep played in style by Mohan Khan. He's a cheeky cricketer. It was a premeditated shot and it came off. This is where Moin Khan is so brilliant. He can defend well, he can take the singles, and when the need is there for improvisation, he can do that in style. This was beautifully done. And again, Moin, he's so quick between the wickets. He put the pressure on Ramesh by running that first run very quickly. Look for two here and get it. So that's 50 for Salim Malik. He's held the Pakistan innings together here. And if Pakistan do cross 200, which they should, then this man has been largely responsible for allowing them to get there. Well, Malik was picked in this team uh, to give some experience, uh, offer some experience in the betting lineup. His delivery is good here. It was just a little slow, but the position demanded him to be a little careful. He's gone this time. Another slow delivery. He tried to drag it around the corner. He couldn't get it around enough and only managed to find Ravid. So a good knock from Malik comes to an end. He's out for exactly a 50. Yes. Uh, didn't read the slower one from Prasad. There you see the one-handed shot and was well taken by Rahul Dravid in that short mid-wicket position. A good hand from the experienced Salim Malik. It's 50 coming off 91 balls and Pakistan now 183 for six. And he looks for the quick single set back and run out. Jareja very quick to come in there. 
Good pick up, quick release. He hit the stumps direct. And Wasim Akram has been dismissed. So another run out. Pakistan have lost their seventh wicket. Well, this surely wasn't a run. Wasim Akram thinking that the fielder was away, was immediately asking Moin Khan to come for that sharp single. He struggled to get back uh, even after taking three or four paces. That uh, is a vital breakthrough. We'll see Makram, as we all know, can really hit the ball hard, but he's gone. And Pakistan now lose their seventh wicket for 184. He clears mid-off here, and he'll reach the boundary. Unlucky for the bowler, but Mohan Khan won't mind it. He's brought up his half century here, and he's got two boundaries in that last over. So, another very, very useful lock by the Pakistani wicketkeeper. 196 for seven. But Azar Mahmood has still found the gap. There was long gone, there was deep mid wicket, there was deep square leg, but Azar Mahmood has found the gap between long gone and deep mid wicket. Good hit from Azar Mahmood. And again, but this time, long gone underneath it makes no mistake. Robin Singh, the fielder there. So Azar Mahmood here perishing in trying to accelerate the scoring. Well, Azhar had no option but to take the aerial route. Couldn't middle it uh, as he wanted to. Hit it straight down the throat of uh, the fieldsman. Long on, which was Robin Singh, who took it quite cleanly. Beautifully judged. Azhar gone for six, and Pakistan lose their eighth wicket for 200. Now, this is up in the air. Take a net long off. He's got a good pair of hands on Il Joshi. He doesn't miss many. So Mohan Khan too trying to clear the boundary. Has lost his wicket here, but it's been a very useful innings by the Pakistan keeper. Wonderful knock from Mohan Khan. Did get the elevation, but didn't middle the ball. It went high in the air, and it was a very good take by the fieldsman Sunil Joshi. Judged it to a nicety. But Moin Khan easily playing the best innings for Pakistan once again. 54 of just 61 balls. And Pakistan 2 or 2 for 9. So the final ball of the Pakistan innings coming up. And he's got it away on the onside. They should get two here. So the Pakistan innings coming to an end. After 50 overs, they're 205 for nine. Very good partnership between Moin Khan and Salim Malik. Pakistan lost both their openers for 34. Vajatul Lawasti then came at number three and got 37 of 86 balls. But it was Salim Malik with 50 of 91 balls and Moin Khan 54 of 61 balls that made sure that Pakistan got to at least 200. Indian bowling was steady. When Kadesh Prasad picked up a wicket, so did Anil Kumble. Two wickets went to Agarkar, and the surprise package Ajay Jadeja picked up two for 19 in three overs. So the target for India is 206 runs at 4.12 runs per over. Wazi Makram said, in fact, at the toss that uh, bowling was the stronger department. So they've got the opportunity here to defend a low target. Boundary there to Ramesh. Well, that's got to be very close. Ball was moving back in, but umpire here is unmoved. Well, Shrebakta thought it was very close. We need to know where it was pitched. Outside the stumps or within. Well, just on the off stump, and that uh, was uh, very, very close indeed. 
missed that in swinger Ramesh not a lot of footwork four four welcome runs leg buys the Seema from trying to bring that ball back to the left hander and Karasia getting his thigh in the way and running the ball down to the boundary. Well, that one's really flown. And uh, the batsman there, Kurasia, getting way too far across. And the ball has just clipped leg stump. Sheer pace there from Shwebatha. Kurasia does have the tendency to uh, go across the line uh, to play uh, to that offside. Getting his leg stump uprooted there. Shwebatha giving Pakistan yet another quick breakthrough. He's gone for seven in India, 17 for one. And that ball was really bold, quick. The last one uh, again, 148 kilometers an hour. Rossi exposing his uh, leg stump, and there you can see the bail. quick called uh, a no ball by umpire Hare we we're talking just a moment ago about how Dennis Lilly saw Shoaib Akhtar at the MRF Pace Foundation and uh, he would have Dennis would have been excited by a number of things about Shoaib I'm sure but his ability to bowl accurately would be one and to move the ball around a little bit Really beautifully balanced at the moment in that runner. Seven overs have been bowled, and Shoy Bakhtar is on fire here. He's charging in. Ramesh, the batsman, on strike. And that's nicely played on the offside. They should get two. This is a slow track, but he's teaming in here, Shoy Bakhtar. He's already picked up a wicket. Beautifully timed. That's four. It was in the air, but it went very quickly to the fence. Oh, in total control of that shot. That is beautifully played. That's copybook stuff. Well, that was a terrific shot. Banged it in, Shoaib Akhtar. It's quite sharp. And he really got over the top of that and played it down. It's beautiful. So the Indians need another 166 to win. And they've got to keep an eye on that required run rate, 4.16. Because uh, from Pakistan's point of view, they like that to reach around the six runs per over mark by the time uh, the 35th over starts that should be another boundary again a lovely shot from Rahul Dravid good balance body weight leaning forward and the placement was good too yeah, he's playing well he's driving he's middling everything I just feel that uh, Wasim's bowling quite well, but so is Dravid, and uh, the batsman's a little on top. Just try to alter the line, give him something else to think about. Again, the quicker delivery, and that's gone past slip. Just enough legs on it to reach the boundary. Edged and again pass up from. And this will again go to the boundary. Difficult chance, but it was in the air. Now that was good bowling by Saklin. That stopped on the batsman, bounced, turned, took the edge. And again he goes past the outside edge. 
He'll have to gather his concentration back here. I think it's more than just concentration, Robbie. I think it's the fact that you're up against a very fast bowler, Shoibakta, experienced quality bowler in Wasim Akram. So your adrenaline's going, you play beautifully, and then on comes a medium fast bowler and a spinner, and you think, oh, well, this is easier, it's a little easier, and you, you tend to be a little too free. I think he, he, these two bowling now could be the most dangerous. And again, pinching the quick single, they've done it really well. He was in Ramesh. There's a sense of urgency about the Indian cricket tonight. They really have lifted a gear compared to all the other games. And I just wanted to raise a little point here, Kitty. I just reckon that uh, with the stars out, the youngsters have really got something to prove. They motivated, and they really seem to have uh, got their teeth into this contest, and it's because they want to do it as a team unit. Well, it's very important. This is for the first time at Sharjah that uh, India have got on to a dream start, and uh, they're doing really well with the averages. All they've got to do is keep the strike rotating, take on the ones and twos, not, out, not to miss out on the opportunities. Wasim, uh, even though he's got that uh, strap on his back, still on the field, that's a commitment. Maybe he was a little uh, stiff at that time when he got those two chances. And Ramesh just hit him past uh, the slip. Oh, yeah. He's done the right thing, he's moved out of there, he put Azam Mahmood there. And again, he's gone on the hook, he has needed it as well as he did against Shoaib, but he's going to pick up a couple, and it's been nearly beaten Shoaib, just a little bit of spin, he just recovered in time. Well, that's a very good shot. Sweet timing. Rahul Dravid has looked in very good form in this innings. There was an illustration there of how well he has timed the ball. Didn't try to hit it too hard just away from the bowler in the gap mid on is up to save the single and it went to the boundary well, that's away for four four wides in with a breakthrough here Restricted in his movement in the field. Good work from Schwerbachter. Good pick up and throw. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Right into the gap. Well, we'll see Makram had taken a slip, and Azar Mahmood had bowled just a little away. Uh, out from the off stump of Ramesh so that there's a chance uh, for a first slip take but gave enough width to the batsman really to play that lovely uh, cut shot oh, and that's a beautiful shot he really does play that one well he times it exquisitely it's not going to go all the way it's just slowed up a bit but they'll pick up three once he gets his eye in Ramesh Anything on that leg stuff really does disappear. And again, just worked off the hip. That one he tried to bang in and nothing happened. Very good 50 for Ramesh. That's two he's got now in the Coca-Cola trophy. Indian supporters delighted. So is the team. Very well played by the young man. strike that's a great shot one of the shots of the night that straight down the ground
Well, the right to strike for wickets of Pakistan. Attempted Yorker becomes a low full toss. Just puts it away cleanly. And more runs here. One before. Now, Freddy in pursuit, but he can't cut off the two. and that's going to be a hundred partnership between the two they'll have to hurry though it's been run out once before drive it but not this time so that's a hundred partnership for these two. Oh, that's a cheeky shot and again he's not going to give away a run but he's going to get a little bit of a bird from the crowd and this will bring up uh, drivers 50 it's been a fine innings from the right-hander. Well, Robert gets his 16.50. And what a time to get it. Oh, well, that's a good shot. Show of actor will get there. Shout there from Wazim Akram. Umpire Robinson says, let's have a look at the replay. Wazim Akram's got a hand on it, we know that. It's just a matter of whether the batsman got back into his crease or not. Well, we know that Wazim Akram has got a hand on it. I think he's probably just got to get the benefit of the doubt. And he has. Uh, as you mentioned, Kirti, everything about their play is positive. They've just got to remain positive keep playing exactly uh, as they are at the moment and I think with Rahul Dravid taking control of the innings I think uh, there's no reason why that shouldn't continue to happen he, he doesn't appear to me as a type of player who's suddenly going to lose his head and do something silly you might get him out but I don't think he's going to contribute to it well, that's an excellent shot beautifully timed again That's got to be a chance. Ball hit very low on the pad. Well, that'll be four. Show back to won't get to this one. Yes, he does. He's very quick. Well, he's one guy who's not left uh, any hope. He's not uh, lost hope at all, and uh, he's running around. He's uh, in the field giving 100%, and that is what Pakistan should do at this moment. Even uh, though the game seems to be heavily uh, weighed uh, towards India. And Shoaib Akhtar, very good chase, a lovely diving save. Jadeja has batted well, captained well. Yeah. Zin Zamam who's got a hundred, Ijaz has got a hundred, and a run out here. Ramesh slipped. That was unfortunate. And against the run of play here, India have lost the wicket. Their fielding has got to uh, really uh, do the job, especially in the circle. Can't afford to give those easy ones uh, to the batsmen, especially to Rahul Dravid. Quite the ball, dot balls to the uh, number three Indian batsman to frustrate him. No, never run out here. This time it's Dravid's turn to go. Jadeja was the one who played the shot. Dravid charged off. And I think he heard the call late. So two wickets have fallen pretty quickly here. Both run outs. Dravid this time, the man dismissed. Well, this was played by Jadeja. He ran initially, and then Rahul Dravid was by then looking at the ball and not the batsman who had stopped in his stride. An easy run out, but uh, a wonderful knock from Rahul Dravid. India lose their third wicket for 187. And 
And again, a tight call there. Robin Singh was running off freely, was shying at the stumps. Straight to the man at Gully, and it's taken on the fall. So show him up the rest of here again. Ijaz made it look so easy. Just for a moment, you thought that the ball had gone on the first bounce. It went like a rocket, but straight to Ijaz. And Shoaib Akhtar has done the job here again. Ijaz is a specialist at that position, but he, he, was, he was up at that point position. And made it look very simple. He was travelling to him. Jadeja is gone for three. And India 190 for four. He's trying to create pressure at both ends. Kamli takes the aerial route and does it in style. In fact, it was Robin Singh. That was a good hit. It was pitched up and Robin Singh went after it. The field was up and he cleared it on quite easily. Dropped. The chance was there. Azar Mahmood was the fielder. So we're not calmly on strike. There is a long off for him. Vidon's up in the circle. And punch through the offside. Might just reach the fence. And it actually does. Boundary signal. India have won this match. Six wickets. Well, Indians lost their opener Kurusia very early, but the second wicket partnership of 166 between Sudo Gopan Ramesh and Rahul Dravid made sure that the Indians shut the doors on Pakistan. Wasim Akram didn't pick up a wicket but bowled impressively. Ten overs, one maiden, none for 39. Shweb Akhtar was the only bowler who picked up the wickets, two for 43 in his 10 overs. It was a low scoring game. Pakistan made just 205. Salim Malik and Moin Khan stroking 50s in the Pakistan's innings. Indians found things very easy, thanks mainly to that second wicket partnership between Sado Gopan Ramesh and Rahul Dravid. Partnership of 166 made sure that India won this contest easily in the end.